what's going on you guys sir burns a lot here with team icloud and that was my new new intro because apparently the other intro has copyrighted uh, music in it or something because uh the video i did with the vlog uh which is me talking uh apparently i couldn't get it monetized or anything so now i'm trying to figure out uh what it was about it and i'm assuming since i use the template place and stuff and that kind of stuff is not supposed to be copyrighted i'm assuming it was the music i'd put behind it so uh instead of trying to take the audio and stuff out of that one and just use it i'm gonna try this one and see if you guys like it if you guys like it let me know if not i'll go back to the other intro and just work on trying to get music for it uh i got a buddy of mine actually that uh he does music and stuff he records and uh, uh, he's actually pretty damn good, and um, if nothing else, I'll just use some of his music. I've already asked him. He said it was cool, and there's, I mean, there's no copyright and shit there, so there will be nothing they can fucking say to me, but uh, I just put two and two together that it was my intro because since I changed my intro, I have not had any of my videos monetized, so I'm assuming it has something to do with intro. Anyway... Starting this game off here, I'm going to let you guys know this is not a high-level game. This is not a good strategy. It's a lot of fun, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it, but it is not a high-level strategy whatsoever. I'll explain here in a second. Um, actually, I'll start right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going Temple 3rd, and it's a timing thing. Uh, across the map over here, this is Prodigy, I believe. He should pick up those supplies on the way, so the timing would be even better, but he chose not to. That's why I flagged it there, but he was like, no, bro, that's what the fucking, that's what the fucking uh, ghost is for. That's what the chopper's for, bro. And I was like, no. I was like, no, don't even fucking talk to me like that. And he... I don't know. He decided to go and do that. O'Malley, we had to go Temple Second, so he would be able to catch up over here, and we'd all arrive at the Prophet Base at the same time. That's why I'm going Temple Third. Uh, that way, I'll have enough money to be able to just kind of chill and get my upgrades and everything. Um, and just real quick, going off the strategy here, this chopper drove into this thing, and then he went up the shit like a ramp, and I caught it right here. He's coming back down. He's bouncing and shit. We thought that was kind of funny. It was epic as fuck, but anyway. And then I was like, dude, ram that ghost since you're right there. But... Anyway, um, the strategy here, we're running Triple Chieftain, and you guys might be thinking, oh, they're going to go up and they're going to Triple Brute Rush, you guys are assholes, but this is the thing, we're not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is be even more of an asshole, and we're going to take our Chieftains over there, I'm getting upgraded Vortex, they're getting upgraded Vortex, and we're going to Vortex the Prophet's base down, and it's going to be really funny. And you guys will see what happens here in a little bit. Uh, since I did spawn on the side with the reactor, I'm going to take the reactor. As soon as I get in there and I pick up this pile of crates that I told Prodigy to leave so I could pick them up and get 500 for my uh, my next uh, Vortex upgrade, I'm going to have the 500 just in time. You'll see it right here. I go to queue it up when I had the 500, but my brute was like a second behind or whatever but now i'm coming up here i'm not going to have tech 2 vortex as soon as i show up but we are going to catch this base before it gets uh, brought up to a citadel because this guy upgraded all his pads put a turret up he's got a hull he's going to be building jackals there's no way <laughs> that he's going to be able to go on onto a citadel right now and keep pumping jackals so we're just going to roll up to the base. All three of us are going to go in the base, and we're just going to vortex it. Actually, I stay out of the base for a little bit, and then I decide to just go in because I thought this would be the epic game-ending clip where we were going to destroy these kids by doing this. Um, so I'm trying to vortex in right here, but then after I actually vortex in, I thought about it. If all of us vortex in there, then we're all trapped inside the base, and we all have to recall, which is kind of shitty. But at the same time, there would be three chieftains inside where this base is so they could not buy it so then again it's not really that big of a deal but you see they dropped a heel here and i don't know why they dropped the heel it's not going to save anything and i'm just going to walk into this base and i'm going to blow this up and uh we got us a we got us a double chieftain and chilling inside this base if i actually thought about it i could have actually just stayed there instead of spending the money to recall here but i wanted to go ahead and recall for some reason i don't know i could have upgraded a pad earlier and i didn't realize this chieftain was that low but now he's sitting inside the base if i would have stayed instead we could end the game right here but because i decided to recall it gives these guys a chance to fight back uh for this strategy to work uh you can you could run a unsc and you could run like a forge or a cutter somebody with a lethal leader power and you could just roll up and uh both the chieftains have the upgraded vortex and then you drop a mac instead of doing the brutes because they could camp your lift they could do all kinds of stuff to stop your brutes but if you do it this way they can't stop the vortex and this they use a d-bomb 
and if they use a D bomb on the front of the base, which they normally would, you just go to the back. And if they have a double UNSC, then you're going to be fine anyway. Even if they drop both of their D bombs, because right when the first D bomb wears off, you can go back up to the base, put pressure on it, you're good to go. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to keep putting pressure on this base, see what we can get done, and hopefully you guys are going to have fun watching this. Anyway, wanted to uh, talk about a few things here. Uh, I talked to my girlfriend about it. We found a computer that I wanted to buy, and it was um, it was a pretty good deal. The computer that I wanted uh, originally was about $625, but then I found another one that was almost twice as good as that one because I caught a deal, and uh, it was 675 so it's a little bit extra, but it was a way better computer. Um, but I decided against buying it because I just don't have the money for that right now like I have the money but there are things that I need to do with that money like pay for stuff for my kid and stuff like that stuff that's more important so I guess I'm stuck on the 360 for a while uh, if I can get a really good deal or something like that and I can get a better computer where I can record uh, League of Legends and uh, Dota 2 and stuff like that then I uh, then I will and I will make videos and stuff on it as of right now I'm still gonna play Dota 2 and League of Legends but I can't make the videos because my computer can't run the game and uh, video capture at one time or screen capture my bad um, but yeah, so that's kind of the conundrum I have going on here. So uh, that's that's just what I'm looking at. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was talking to a few people about it. Even if I can't make the videos and stuff on it, I'm still going to have fun uh, playing with you guys if you guys want to play. Uh, Dota 2 and League of Legends are both free if you guys want to check them out. Uh, League of Legends is on its own website if you guys want to look it up. Um, Dota 2 is in Steam. You can download it. Uh, for free I when I first was telling people about it uh, they had codes they gave out free codes and stuff and they said well we might as well just make it free game so they did um, so if you guys want to play that just hit me up let me know I'm always down to play um, if you guys like this game I think you'll like it too because there's a whole bunch of stuff to do about it and I talked to Prodigy um, and I think I may have talked him into getting it uh, not really sure yet and for those of you guys that are asking if it'll work for a Mac or something like that, I know a lot of you guys have Macs and stuff like that. Um, I know for a fact League of Legends you can get on a Mac. I don't know about Dota 2. I'm assuming, though, since you can have Steam on a Mac, uh, because I believe Prodigy said he has a Mac and he has Steam, I'm pretty sure Dota 2 is available as well. Um, so if you guys want to get those, we can play some of that. Even if I can't record the games, we can learn uh, what's going on and everything and learn how to play the game a lot better. And by the time we're getting decent at the game, then I can possibly get a better computer and go from there. Um, and we'll just see how it works. Uh, but I also talked to Prodigy, and I was trying to get ideas for stuff to talk about in the channel. And since this video is not really much of anything, but the start of it was kind of fun and everything, and I wanted to show you guys the rest of the gameplay... I was actually going to talk to you guys about Dota 2 and League of Legends and tell you guys a little more about it. That way you don't have to go do the research for yourself. I do encourage that you go and watch some videos and stuff on it so you can get a good idea of what it is. But pretty much what it is, if you've played any of the, uh, pretty much any RTS, like I can, I can relate it to playing as the Covenant in this game, how you uh, get your leader and you use them, you run around and you do stuff. Well, imagine playing a game where you don't build units you have your one leader and instead of uh, instead of upgrading like at the temple or something like that as you get experience or as you would get like a veterancy star in this game as you get experience instead of getting a star you get a point that you uh, you can upgrade a skill and when you upgrade a skill uh, you like you learn different spells your uh, you can make your strength or agility or whatever higher you can do all kinds of stuff with it um, but instead of attacking bases and doing stuff like this you uh, what you're doing is trying to go uh, and push your creep wave the creep spawn instead of you having to build units those are your units but the creep waves uh, will spawn units and you help the units push up to turrets and you kill the turrets that are in each lane and as you keep pushing uh, you try to get to their base and you go and kill that but at the same time you have other leaders trying to uh, push their creep wave and trying to push you off and stuff like that also uh, I haven't played League of Legends yet but I've heard it's very good 
and it's exactly the same thing as Dota 2, except there's a couple of the game mechanics and stuff that are different. Um, but there are a whole lot of uh, champions to choose from and a whole lot of characters. And that's one thing I really like about it. With this game, it's kind of limited. You only have six characters, only three of which have the leaders like that that you can do anything with. So um, I think it would be kind of fun if you guys like playing as Covenant in this game. It would probably really suit you because... Uh, it's just really fun, and if you guys don't have a super good PC or you don't have uh, you don't have a really good computer or something like that, I'm playing it on my laptop that I've had I've had for like three or four years now. So it's I mean it's old, and it can still run those games on pretty good settings and stuff. Um, so it's I mean it's it's a fun game. You guys should check it out, and if you guys want to play. Um, I believe I have it in my uh, description of the videos and stuff, uh, my email account, and I have the, uh, I think you can get me on Steam that way if you look up my email or something. If not, send me a message on here, send me a comment, something, and tell me uh, what your, uh, what your, you know, your Steam account is, and we can add each other and we'll play and stuff. I'm actually looking to put a team together on Dota 2, um, especially and uh, once I get a team together and stuff, we can start playing and doing a lot of stuff, and it's really fun, so um, so it'll be me, if I can get Plasma to do it, and Prodigy to do it, that'll be three people, and I need two more, um, but I'm always willing to take other people as well, I'm just looking for a main team, um, Plasma's pretty busy with school, and Prodigy's still in school and stuff, so if I could find somebody that doesn't have school, they could have work or something like that, or if you do go to school and you don't work or something like that. You know, somebody that has a pretty open schedule where they'd be able to do stuff, especially at night since I work mostly in the mornings. Um, if you guys want to play or something, just hit me up sometime and we'll get a lobby started and we can play against bots and stuff to teach everybody the game and um, figure everything out. And hopefully you guys would enjoy it. Uh, that's kind of the direction I'm wanting to take my channel now. I kind of like, I like strategy games, but I don't really... Uh, I don't really have a computer to run some of the ones that I like. I've already paid for Dawn of War 2, and I paid for it about a year and a half ago. I bought the huge, like, deal where they had the expansion. They had everything Dawn of War 2 related was in there uh, for about 100 bucks. I spent 100 bucks, and I can't play it because my computer won't run it. Um, so that's one of the reasons I was looking for a, uh, upgrading my PC and stuff. But the biggest reason I decided I wanted to upgrade to the PC would be so that I could record PC games and put those up instead of this because really with the consoles none of the other games really interest me uh, to make videos on except for Halo Wars um, like the Fight Night Champion that was fun for a while and I still have fun playing it but I, I just feel like you guys aren't having fun watching that uh, I don't really I don't really consider myself to be a good like Call of Duty player so I can't really do like montages and stuff like that uh, so the only thing I could think of was to go to PC and the thing is, my computer now will play the games. So for me to have fun and play the games, except for Dawn of War 2 and StarCraft, I can play those on my computer that I have now. The only difference is, if I get a game PC, I can play those games, and I can uh, record any of those games. So until I can get a PC, I'm not going to be able to do uh, too many videos on my PC, because I've already tried it, and it just doesn't work very well. And... um if um if I can get it figured out to where I can get a computer then that's just the uh, the direction I'm gonna be heading so if you guys want to go with me you guys are more than welcome to um, and I'm also uh, pulling this guy's d-bomb because he's dumb uh, you don't want to d-bomb next to your teammates base like that that's just really bad because now the uh, well I don't know I guess they can't really do too much with a leader power or anything anyway but like that just opens them up for a clean push but that's normally if you're playing against the Chieftain or an RD, they're playing with a Prophet, so Prophet can't really do too much anyway. But anyway, um, i trying to think what else I can talk about. Um, I'm going to kick the shit out of this guy's Wolverine real fast. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm wanting to get a better PC, but I just can't afford it right now. So I might look in the near future into getting a second job or a better paying job. And uh, if I can save some money that way uh, to save up for a computer, then I will. Um, 
I've asked my friends and my family and stuff, anybody that normally gets me like stuff for Christmas or something like that, I told them instead of getting me stuff, they should just give me money that I can put towards getting a PC. Um, cause I feel like I'd enjoy that collectively more than anything else. Um, so I'll just have to see how it works out and see what happens. Um, but if I can't get a PC and it drags on forever and everything, uh, I'm probably going to end up, uh, just making these Halo Wars videos. I know the Halo Wars is dead. There's not really much to say about it or do, but I don't have fun making videos for anything else really on the console. So, um, this is really the only thing I enjoy making videos about on the console. So if I can't get the PC, then I guess I'll just make videos on this until I get bored of it or you guys get bored of it and then I'll just quit. Um, so we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, mm, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, we were trying to get a, a turtle last night and we played against like the thing that's happening with this game that's kind of irritating me is the fact that I will play, uh, I'll we'll play like a try hard combo. We'll play like double RB, double RB cutter, double RB Anders, Anders brute RB. Like we'll play a hardcore, like you know try hard combo, and we'll beat the shit out of everybody. And it's not fun because the people we're playing against are trash. And then when we switch to a combo like this, we end up playing against people that are pretty decent or people that are really good and they're running try hard combos like I remember uh we ran into we ran into Hazard Fury and I forgot the other two guys but we ran into Hazard Fury and a couple other guys and we were trying to turtle so we had a turtle combo and they had a try hard combo and I was playing 2v2s with Prodigy and we were just messing around and we ended up playing against I'm not very legit and uh C Mitch and I actually wanted to post that game, but something happened with my capture card where it like the file was corrupt. I'm in the process right now trying to get it uh, fixed so I can still post it because there was something to learn there. Um, it had to do with how on uh, Crevice I was playing as Cutter. Um, once you're in like a try hard scenario and stuff, I normally go for a barracks, uh, barracks third on my main. So he went with a reactor uh, to stop my... Uh, my barracks which was a good counter so I wanted to show you guys the counter for that and uh, to show you guys like how to like the thought process going into it and stuff and there was uh, Prodigy buckled a little bit and his uh, base got cheesed down because the RB on their side double based and it was just really it was just really something but anyway um, I'm going to see if I can post that for you guys see if I can find the video and well I've already found the video I need to see if I can uh, get it like together um because the file corrupted and shit but anyway um O'Malley's finally pushing up with these wraiths we've been waiting this whole time for these wraiths to do something and this guy's piling jackals up so you can tell that they're prioritizing my uh my chief in here but the halls really aren't that bad considering the other units we have are wraiths um the only thing they really have to worry about is the banshees so the wolverines are good for that so this guy's doing pretty good um but just gonna run back tag out with this chief and I'm gonna go get a heal and he's gonna come in here and smash some shit um, but yeah I'm, I've been working today because um, I'm off today this is another day like I had the other week where I'm off and I'm gonna do commentaries and work on the channel and uh, move stuff into different playlists and stuff like that come up with some ideas and stuff um, so I've been working on trying to make my videos look a little better I think I'm getting it down uh, to where it they don't look that bad um, I can't really do anything about the render settings um, as far as like making them more high def than I can because my capture card is trash but um, but yeah there's there's not really much to say about this game and I don't really know what else to talk about I already covered the stuff only thing I can say guys is play Dota play League of Legends it's free to play it if you guys like this game that could be the next game you get sucked into you never know um, but anyway, this video is coming to a close here. These guys are all going to resign and everything. And, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, uh, send this guy a message, be like, good game. And these guys got really mad. Actually, they were just like, you guys all rush and everything. And, uh, one of the guys was just like, I could one V three you guys. And I was just like, no, you couldn't. And it was just really funny. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
give me some ideas if you guys want to see anything. If you want me to try anything out on the PC, let me know. Um, and I'm going to try to see what I can do about getting that PC because I know as soon as I get that, I'm going to be able to do a lot more videos for you guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll meet a lot more people. We'll be able to talk with a whole bunch of people, and we'll just see how it goes from there. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You guys stay tuned for the next video, and you guys take it easy.